In a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. I, I went to the theatre one night and see a play called Stones in His Pockets. In the row in front of us was, by complete coincidence, the producer David Heyman and the screenwriter Steve Clovis. They came up to us in the interval and my dad knew David from work and so he introduced himself. I got a, well, I didn't get a call, my mum got a call and it was to go and meet up with David just for lunch, not to get, um, not to audition or anything. Mm -hmm. But um, then I went out to lunch and we had a really great time. It was, he's such a nice man. And then he asked me if I wanted to come and audition got another phone call asked me, asked me that, and I did, and it kind of just went from there. Whoa! My body's gone! I know what that is! That's an invisibility cloak! I really wanted to be in this film, so I was looking on the internet of this website of Newsround, and some of these kids have been sending in videotapes themselves, mm. reading a bit of Harry Potter. So I sent one in. Um, first, I was my drama teacher, who was a woman, which was kind of freaky. And um, <laughs> then I did this rap song of how much I wanted to be in the film. Sent it in to the casting agency, and then they then I got a phone call saying, um, when would you like your audition? It's Leviosa, God. not Leviosa. Guardium you do it then if you're so Leviosa. clever. Go on, go on. Guardian Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Um, a lot of auditioning mm -hmm. Ooh, over a period of about three months. Joe was involved with that as well. I said, uh, I said, you know what? When you were writing these characters, who did you think about? And she started, you know, she, she made, put a couple of names down for each character. Only one name was down for Hagrid, and that was Robbie Coltrane. You were absolutely the most perfect Hagrid I could probably imagine in my in my entire life. Thank I you. Would, would you like your money now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Was it Ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> So were you, had you read the books or anything before? Of course, him? yes, oh, of course. <laughs> of course I'd read the books. You couldn't lie. And say yeah, no, no I, I wouldn't lie. No, <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't lie. Um, of course I'd, I'd read the books to my, uh, to my son. Ah, yeah. how old's your son? He's 26, it's a worry. No, no, he's, no, no, he's, uh, he's eight. Hagrid. Oh, hello. Sorry, don't wish to be rude, but I'm in no fit state to entertain today. We know about the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh. I heard it was tough yes. getting Richard Harris. Well, he says it's tough. I didn't know it was tough at the time. I just, you know, I thought, well, why don't we ask Richard? So, I, I, I who knows with Richard? You never know. Honestly, with Richard, it can be one story one day, another story another day. I got to be honest with you. He seemed very, when we first met Richard, he was very enthusiastic, and I think he did it for his granddaughter. But remember this, Harry. This mirror gives us neither knowledge or truth. When I was asked to do it, I, I sort of, I thought the material was superb. I mean, I read the script, I put the wonderful material. But unfortunately, the, there was a catch that if you did the first one, you have to do them all. <laughs> if they make any more. Yeah. And that kind of commitment doesn't suit me at all. Right. I'm, I, I, don't like to, I don't like commitment. I don't like to be tied down to, to times and dates and that kind of thing. I like to be free. So I, so I wasn't sure I was going to do 